Do I grab more medicine? So paper postings here. Must be stored in a dark place. Do not leave the door open. Hand it over after mixing it correctly. Of course, it's also Grandma's handwriting. Alright, mix the medicine. Utensils are needed. Okay. rod and that's it okay uh the moon medicine uh red nope okay that I would that killed me fair enough <laughs> Let's look at this again. Smooth from the skin, good for health when used in cooking. Green, main ingredient, extract from medicinal herbs. Reducing hypertension is the effect of making it easier to sleep. Sparse, do not leave the door open. Hand it over only after mixing it correctly. Green moon. <laughs> nope. Okay, good to know. So I just mix in the red and green, I guess. Well, experimentation is always good, even if it ends up with your death. Okay, the light became paler. Crescent moon medicine. Ooh. Hello. It was a story that happened once upon a time. One hunter went to the forest in search of a wolf. However, the hunter got lost in the forest, and moreover, rain, rain began to fall, and he was at a loss as to what to do. He walked and walked, and then finally arrived at someone's house. Its resident was a beautiful girl who kindly invited the hunter in. The hunter stayed in the girl's house for one night, but the rain didn't stop even the next morning. Please stay over again today, said the girl with a kind smile. Before he knew it, he stayed over at the girl's house for quite a while. The rain seemed as if it wouldn't stop, and the girl was always kind. If he were to just start living here, it would be a happy life, quietly thought the hunter. But the long rain too came to an end. In an evening of clear skies, the two parted. The hunter felt as if he was still dreaming. There was something nagging him in his mind on his way back. To the hunter, it felt as if he was forgetting something precious. And he couldn't just let it go. The hunter went back the path he came. A big round moon was climbing up the sky. But when the hunter finally arrived back at the girl's house, she was nowhere to be seen. As the hunter stood motionless, the howl of a wolf reached his ears. Maybe that girl is in danger. As the hunter flew out the doors, he encountered a wolf. The wolf was just like a human, and also resembled that girl more than anything. That kind girl was a wolf all this time. Please go back to where humans live. I almost actually tried to eat you, but I couldn't do it. I did think it'd be great if we could live together, but that's impossible for a hunter and a wolf. As the girl turned her back, the hunter then said to her, Then I won't look for wolves anymore. I won't return to where humans live either. And so let me live here together with you. And like this, the wolf and the girl began to live together, and they lived happily ever after. They lived happily ever after and after. The end. Did Grandma make this, perhaps? Hmm. Interesting. Is he gonna attack me as soon as I come back down? Yay, Crescent Boon Medicine! It's calmed down. Um, where should I start? 
Thanks for saving me. Sorry for scaring you. I did tell you that I had a long time illness when I first met you, but... But as for what it really is, I guess it's more like a congenital disorder. Ah, uh, but since my mother also had this too, I guess it'd be more correct to say that it's inherited, perhaps. My mother was also someone who became a wolf on the night of a full moon. But as for me, it seems to happen all of a sudden, even when it's not a full moon. When I was facing trouble, Miss Mary was there to help me. She investigated about it here and there, and made medicine to suppress my fits. That was about seven years ago. I had her let me come over to play many, many times. So much that it feels a bit strange not having met you all this time, little Rosetta. Probably to keep her safe. Uh, Rosetta, are you alright? Are you feeling unwell? I guess that by running around so much, she's all tired now, isn't she? I'm sorry. Uh, playing as the wolf. For now, I'll need... Wait. She doesn't seem to have a good complexion. For now, I'll need to let her rest easy. As for what I can do, comparatively, I do have confidence in my ears and nose. That's right, perhaps there might be some clues remaining as to what happened in this incident. Alright. You sure there's not anything in the fireplace? No. Yes, the one open. Hmm, something's sticking out from under the door. Why is there rope in a place like this? Rope. All right, we check in here then. I already read that. Oh, there's a diary notebook here. From today onwards, I'll be working as a live-in assistant in Miss Mary's house, so it'll be the first time I'll be away from home, so I do feel a bit un a little uneasy about it, but Miss Mary's kind to me, and so I've also brought Daisy along, so it'll surely be alright. As for general household chores, the preparation my mother gave me for this seems to have been of great benefit. What gives me trouble is when it comes to handling the medicine to even imagine that it could actually explode. For now, I will need to refrain from entering the medicine storage room and study some more about the medicine here. When I think about Miss Mary's health, I get the sense that I must learn quickly about how to handle them. It's been about a year, half a year since she's been ill, so it seems like she's been working really hard all by herself for this half a year. There is little Rosetta, Miss Mary's seven-year-old granddaughter, who comes to play. When I first saw her, I was really surprised. Fluffy blonde hair and big brown eyes, she looked pretty much the same as Daisy. Sign of having gotten closer, I gave her Daisy as a present. It's a little old, but she seems to have liked it. She seems to like apple pie. I'll try making it to treat her. To, I'll try making it to treat her to some. By giving her Daisy, my own room has suddenly become all empty. Let's have them send over Benjamin for my house. Little Rosetta seems to have gotten hurt. I wasn't able to get them to tell me how it happened. Little Rosetta came over for the first time since she got hurt. Feels as if she's now quieter than before. Uh Oh, it somehow feels like her clothing is different too, even though she did say before that she didn't like tights. The red hood Miss Mary made is cute, but hides away her blonde hair. When I told Miss Mary that I think that that's quite a shame, she said I think so too. Little Ro Rosetta's father seems to have passed away due to an accident. He was Miss Mary's son-in-law. Little Rosetta came for the first time in a long while with a handmade bouquet as a present. She seems to have been gloomy from her father passing away, but she's becoming cheerful again little by little. However, she seems to be talking to herself more than before, and moreover, she also starts talking while facing the mirror. Sometimes Little Rosetta seems as if she's a different person. I'm a little scared. Seems to be a diary from two years ago. And Rosetta, what just what the heck happened? That is a question. What happened? Door still locked. 
Any better? No? Okay. Let me check in here then. The service remained locked ever since seven years ago. They told me I didn't have to help out, but it would have been better if I had cleaned up properly that time. Oh, so this was one of your fits. Uh, oh. Comfort object. It's the condition of attaining comfort by having attachment to something. When an infant or child continuously always holds onto a blanket or stuffed animal, it is due to this condition. Normally, the attachment goes away with maturity, but sometimes the attachment does not weaken even after maturity. That's right, that says to disregard that stuffed animal is precious, right? It is a syndrome of holding on to a delusion that one has transformed into an animal or that one is an animal. When the illness breaks out, one would start to think of oneself as an animal and start performing actions to resemble that animal. It is a type of behavior of identifying oneself with something one admires. Also, the animal is not limited to just wolves. So there was also an illness like that. Though this doesn't seem to be the case for me, does it? I'm not all that fond of wolves in any case. It is a mental disorder where the memories become disassociated as a means of fleeing from painful events in the past, resulting in a split into multiple personalities. No pages after this. Interesting. So... Nothing there? No. Father. Oh, so I guess his father was a werewolf or something? Ooh, dining room key. I found something! Yay! So, which one's the dining room again? There it is. This room feels different from all the rest. Did it always feel like this? It almost feels as if I'm being watched by the ancestors, which makes me feel uneasy. Fancy looking. Someone seems to have someone skilled a, a honored sword. Someone who started the medicine shop. Ah, this spot. This is definitely the place where the husband's portrait previously was. Magnificent sword seems to have something granted from the royal family. Do I have to take the picture and move it back? Whoa! There's some red stains on the wall. Reflectively, reflexively put the... Just... What was that just now? Red stains on this wall. Could this really be blood? Oh, hey! Something fell on the floor. Academy Entry Information Session. To acquire knowledge and cultivation in an environment blessed with nature. Complete with dormitories, deep in friendships by living together. A fairway academy, huh? Will Rosetta be going there, perhaps? So I can't take the picture down? Anything better with you yet? No. My grandfather and grandma might have also been wolves. Feels a little scary. Okay. So then what do I do? I'm, it doesn't let me take the picture off the wall. Is there another picture around here somewhere that I could use? By the way, can I just walk out the door? Nope, okay, I can't leave. By 
Oh, but what do you have to say about this? Let's not open this. Oh, okay. So what, do you have anything to say about this? Could these two possibly be? Miss Mary, thank you. I truly, truly cannot thank you enough. Nothing of special interest in that one, huh? Is there anything here I can take? No? Anything outside, perhaps? Nope, too dangerous. Can't leave yet. Then what do I do? Short story for children. They're illustrated with a small boy in a rose. There's scrap paper between the pages. Rosetta. Rosetta. R. Set. Stir. This is little Rosetta's writing, maybe. Was she practicing making signatures? Blonde doll. I go from here. Is there anything under the table, perhaps? Oh, hey! Someone's following me over here. A bath key. Alrighty. So, what other door is locked? These are all the ones that are open, right? There should be some downstairs. Found it! Big bath. I get the feeling I've entered somewhere I shouldn't. Just why, I wonder though, despite having used this before, whenever I stayed over. Towel and bath supplies. Towel and bath supplies. Uh, nothing in there. Some soap that has not been opened yet. No matter how much I look at it, it's quite a marvelous bath. In fact, my own home doesn't have anything other than just a shower. Towel inside. A, a really bloody towel. Uh, smells like iron. That's blood, all right. Is this blood? Ordinary water. What was that sound? What sound? Maybe Red got up? Or Rosetta, whatever. No, she's still sleeping. Well then, what was that noise? see anything out of the ordinary.
Nothing out there. Oh, let's fall off the key. Storage room key. Uh, it's all dark. Can't possibly look around here without some light. I guess I'll go get a lamp. There was one in Rosetta's room, I believe. Oh, she's gone! Rosetta, lend me this... Lend this to me for just a little, okay? If I had something to light this with. But Rosetta, just where did she go? Is she alright? I think there were matches in the store in the uh, medicine cabinet. Ha! Matchbox! Excuse me, Miss Mary, I'll be borrowing this. Oh, this looks fun. Hello? Is there anything in here? Uh, something in the cloth bag, huh? Oh, that's a hand! That's a hand! Uh, what? What is this? Who is this? Rosetta, are you all right now? Um, she doesn't look very good. Little Rosetta? Uh. You found out too much. And four, the Wolf of Darkness. You missed a clue. Missed a clue? Where did I miss a clue? What am I missing?